Hello, I'm Professor Von Schmohawk, and welcome to Why You. In the previous lecture, we saw how to create a binary relation between two sets. These sets can contain any type of elements. We showed that a binary relation is a way of associating or relating elements of one set to elements of the other set. For instance, we could draw arrows from each person in set A who likes fruit to the fruits in set B which they like. As we saw, the same information can be conveyed using ordered pairs, where the first element of each ordered pair is a member of the first set, and the second element is a member of the second set. Let's name a set containing these ordered pairs set L. So L represents a binary relation from A to B. In a binary relation, not every element in the two sets which are related may be involved in the relation. In our example, Tarzan, boy, oranges, apples, and bananas are part of relation L, while Jane, pears, and cherries are not. The set of all elements of A which are L related to elements of B is called the domain of L. Likewise, the set of all elements of B to which the elements of A are related is called the range of L. So in a binary relation from A to B, all the elements of A which are related form the domain and all the elements of B which are related form the range. The domain and range are subsets of A and B. The domain and the range can include every element of A and B, or could include just a single element. We have illustrated binary relations between sets containing various types of elements. But often in algebra, the sets which are related are both equal to the sets of real numbers R. In this case, we can either say that the binary relation is from R to R, or more simply, that the binary relation is on R. The ordered pairs which represent a binary relation on R are pairs of real numbers. This set of ordered pairs is sometimes referred to as the graph of the relation. And since Cartesian coordinates can be used to visually represent ordered pairs of real numbers, this is a way to visually represent the graph of a relation on R. Creating this visual representation of a relation is called graphing the relation, and is one of the most powerful methods for understanding mathematical relations. There are many types of graphs. Graphs of finite sets of ordered pairs like this are called scatter plots. In the next lecture, we will see how scatter plots can be an important tool allowing us to visually recognize patterns which may exist in a binary relation. <laughs>